A little mutual respect by these two men. Ryan McCrane to your right, now to your left. Scoot Robinson to your right. I'm Alan Sanchez. Next to me is Junior Bruce as we get this matchup. This is going to be a good one, Alan. This is going to be good. I mean, I saw this in the card earlier, and I mean, these are two hungry, hungry young men in this business, but they've been wrestling for a long time. Yeah, also, you, also two men who have been lighting it up the last couple months. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, is that this you're looking at the future of not only Supreme Pro Wrestling, but of pro wrestling altogether. No, you're absolutely right, Alan. I mean, the future for both these men is very bright. Uh, both are, you can see them all over California. You can see them also in Reno. It's fantastic what they're doing, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the uh, athleticism. And I, I think it's going to come down to who has the, the more of a killer instinct tonight. Right. To see who's actually going to take this thing. Now, recently, uh, just in, I guess, uh, the clock what, hits noon twice a day. Is that what you said? A broken, a broken clock? clock is right twice a day, Alan. I think we both can agree that you did a good job, a great interview with uh, Scoot Robinson on Supreme Cast. So you can, you can, it's free, it is to, free to download and subscribe. I keep, I, I keep telling SBW to charge for that, but you know the, 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 the powers that be are determined to let the SBW faithful listen to it for free. I don't get it, but hey, it's it's not my call. Got to see. They're still paying me. You're getting a check. Uh, let's not talk about that. Scoot Robinson was on. Uh, was the most recent guest that just came down the pipeline a few days ago. You can get a Supreme Cast. You can go ahead and subscribe to that and get the latest, not only with Scoot Robinson, but with a lot of SPW favorites, including J.R. Kratos, Brian Tannen. Sir Samurai. Sir Samurai. Drake Frost. Drake Frost. And um, find and out a little bit more in depth of what these men put in that ring. And the thing is, I've known Scoot for a long time, young man, and I didn't realize maybe 90% of what he's done just to so much sacrifice, so much investment um, into what he does and what he loves. He's got an incredible story. Uh, he's got a lot of support. And uh, what's this? Uh-oh. Ryan McQueen. I, was this a he's tag team match? Oh, the, this might be. Did he just? Uh-oh, uh -oh, wait, 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 Sparky, stop. No, Scoot was just joking. I don't think he was. I don't think he was. If you know Scoot's backstory, you know that. You know, he wasn't much older. Right, when I was going to say, if you listen to the Supreme cast, uh, you know, yeah, like you said, it wasn't much older than uh, that young man who would try to get in the ring. That's how he started. He could have just inspired the future of Supreme Pro Wrestling. You never know. That. You never know. And I think Scoot's going to pick out his own. This is the thing when you were fan favorite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, super kick. Uh-oh. And uh, super fan, RJ, who's been has been around enough to enough shows to know, stay away from Ryan McQueen. Yes. Especially when Ryan McQueen can hit that super kick. Good night, Sally. These two men respect each other, but the, the truth is, if one of these men could become... Whoever wins this matchup, I should say, goes into momentum into the anniversary show. There's only so many spots that are left. So when it comes to who's going to wrestle, what match you're going to be on, they're going to look at the ones who have momentum. That's how it works. I mean, Scoot had a SPW title match back in December against Brian Tannen. Uh, Ryan McQueen has been on the cusp of getting his own shot. Uh, I mean, both men in the mix, a win here will definitely do wonders for making the case to uh, – to the authorities to, uh, that be to really put them in that match. Look, and, and th again, yeah, yes, they're young in their career, but they've been so close to be grabbing championships, so close. They just need that one that one more shot to put them over and talk about rocket ship. I mean, they're, they're, they're working with guys. They're riding with guys who are in Ring of Honor, who are in Lucha Underground. Absolutely. They've taken on guys who are, who are in the WWE, the guys who are former in, in who are tra top indies around, not only uh, here in the United States, but in Europe and in Japan. These guys can are at the same level. They just need that one chance. And this is the thing. The winner of this matchup is going to be put on a short list for the number one contender of for the Supreme Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. 
That's why, yeah, they're having fun. They respect each other, but they're going to take it to each other, and that's what they're doing right now. They're going to mentally see it. Ooh, look at that. Look how agile someone like Scoot Robinson can be backflip, front flip, or whatever he was doing there. Hey, listen, don't let, don't let Scoot you know, fool you. He is an athlete. Wait, you talked to him on Supreme Cast again. You, it's a must check. It's a must hear. What are some of the – look at that. What are some of the things that surprised you that you didn't know about about uh, Scoot before, or might surprise some of the the listeners if if they haven't checked out the the podcast? Well, I would say you know one of the things you're going to learn about him is if you've been coming to SBW for the last year to two years, you would have seen Scoot coming out as any number of yeah. different characters. Yeah, I remember uh, Scoot Molina. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got a picture of that on my phone, <laughs> and I, I still I still look at that uh, whenever I want to laugh, but. I, you know, it's it's one of those things where you know he was living as other people for so long. He was wrestling as other people for so long. I, I think deep down there was an inner Scoot that really needed to come out, was dying to come out, and and now we're seeing it. Ever yeah. ever since he came out and embraced who he really was on the inside, it's been nothing but upward momentum for him there. Uh, I, Ooh, and there's that momentum right there in that suplex cover. And but you're, you're, you're going to learn about drive. You're going to learn about determination. You're going to learn about uh, support and be, being able to you know, reach out to family, friends, and, 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 and just what that means to, to being successful. Cover. Does that answer your question? It does. It does. Uh, but I'm right now looking at Mariah McQueen, and he's favoring the left, I believe, the knee or the leg. And they call him. The Rebel of Babylon. Rebel of Babylon, but I was they used to call him back in the day when I, I don't want to say when he was younger because he's not that old. He's a young twenty year old man, but he's been wrestling for so long that flying Ryan and and he knows how to fly, but if you don't have your leg to, to stand on, literally you're not gonna be able to do all those kinds. So that's gotta be smart in a young man and Scoot Robinson. But Scoot, who's in his early twenties, has been wrestling I mean you think about it, almost what, 15, 16 years? It's been going on a long time. Wow. But, but I think I think you're absolutely right. You know, one of the things Ryan's also known for is his kicks. I mean, he's got really stiff kicks. Uh, we saw a kickoff between him and Adam right. Bonstow last month. Uh, you know, for, for Scoot to have the wherewithal, to have the knowledge, the experience, to go after his legs and really cut, cut Ryan down at the knees is just, it's very smart, very intelligent. Ooh, put, put in that figure four. Put all that pressure, and when he gets into that bridge, and Ryan, look, just really working the legs. That's smart. You don't. Uh oh, oh, but he turned it. He turned it. Could that be enough? And he's in the middle of the ring. He does. He's got a far way to go yeah, to reach. Do about that. To if reach Ryan, a rope. If he can reach it or try to break up that lock, and he does. And checking Sparky Ballard, making sure both men can even stand. Look, it's a safety issue. And oh, whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my. I don't think I've ever seen Scoot throw a, like a discus roundhouse kick like that. I mean, it landed and then, right and then, where it to. But and then Ryan follows up with a with a kick of his own. Incredible. Both men at a seven count, not an eight count, trying to get to their feet. At a nine count, both get up, but both hobbling. More Ryan because he's been, he had his leg work there by Scoot. These men going at it. Ooh, how smart is that? How smart was that by Ryan McQueen? Yeah, Scoot's face bouncing off the mat like that. Ooh. These men know how important this match is going into the anniversary show. This is it. This is their last chance to make. Look, people, we're selling pre-tickets, uh, pre-sale tickets already. They're going fast. You know there's going to be a line outside the door for, to, for the next show. This is a chance for them to showcase themselves on the show of shows here in Supreme Pro Wrestling. 
They make it the name for themselves here at Supreme Pro Wrestling, especially at the anniversary show. They're set for a long time. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. Stunner on the apron. Yeah, but look at that took a lot of both Ten men. And Sparky checks on him, but he's got to do his job. He's got to do his count. I think we might have ourselves a double count out here. But did you see how he just came down Absolutely. on him? Absolutely. I, honestly, I, I think everybody's just a little shocked at just how yeah. hard these guys are going yeah. at each other. Ooh, right to the corner. And breaks up the count there. Does scoot. But that's what's amazing about SPW. That's what's amazing about being here every month is that th this match isn't for a title. This match isn't even for a contendership. No. But oh, oh, oh! Holy jeez! But this is important. This is an important match, Alan. These these men know how, how much this match means, what a win here means. Just gotta hope that the fans know to get out of the way. We got children in the mix. Bringing it back to the ring now. Ryan's still favoring that leg. Scoot trying to get to his feet. So a big boot to the face from Scoot. Goes for another, but it's caught. Oh! oh Ryan with a super kick. Oh, did you hear that? Cover, that's got to be enough, too. And, and a kick out from Scoot. This is incredible. This is awesome. You're right. I can't believe i got to say this, but you're right, Junior. The fact that the, this, this, this is just for a, maybe a shot at the anniversary show, maybe just to be considered. And this is how much they're putting out for this matchup. Look at those educated feet there by Brian McQueen. Look at that. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh. gee. Two and only a two count there. How did he kick out of that? One thing you'll learn about Scoot on the Supreme Cast, hosted by yours truly, one of the best hosts of a podcast anywhere in the world. Uh, you're going to learn about the heart, the, the, the yes, just the the sheer determination Scoot has to be successful, to be to just succeed at whatever he does. He sets his mind to it, so it doesn't shock me at all that he would be able to kick out of that. Yeah, but it, it, look at tuning up the band as they say this going to be enough. Oh, but he caught it. Ooh, smart swings his leg out. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at that submission move. He is stretching him, stretching the in pretty much the entire lower body. He's gonna have some groinal issues yes. for sure. Very unique submission maneuver. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, can we show that on TV? That's, that's Luckily it's the internet. The, I grown hope Bryce is not looking to have kids anytime soon. Oh, avert your eyes, grown men everywhere. One minute remaining in this contest. One minute remaining. Got one minute left. I don't know if we're going to get a winner. Well, these, these guys, the way they're going. Well, Scoot just heard that, so he brought him to the middle of the ring. Look at that, how smart Scoot. Very he smart. heard that, and now he's going to really put it on. Look at the leverage that he has on him. That's the, this is it. One. Look, you have the, the combination of of the pain. Oh, come on. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You heard there by. What Ring more does he have to do? Look at that. Look at that. He's trying to. T he's going to tear a muscle. Lit off. He's going to tear the muscle. Yeah, I know. Two, I'm.
Ladies and gentlemen, this contest has ended in a 15 minute time limit draw. So it's a draw, Ellen. I know, but I mean, look at the crowd. You hear the booze. What a great match. Both of you guys put everything on the line. We really appreciate it. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go any further. You know I love you guys, but we cannot do five more minutes tonight. We can't do it. We can't do it. Sorry, Sparky. Continue this match. Ring the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five more minutes. Oh, but Ryan McQueen is limping after that. Look at that. Straight at each other. They only got five more minutes. I am only have, might only have five more minutes left in my voice after the incredible night that we've had so far. Scoot Robinson going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go right back to cutting those, those legs out from under Ryan there. And, and Ryan just trying to buy any kind of separation. And Ryan's in pain right now. Ryan is in pain. And look, ooh, ooh, <laughs> two. That was that was savage. There's no finesse in that. That is no, a there big was none. That's a big man landing on another big man. And look at that, Ryan trying to get back up, but cutting him down is Scoot, Scoot Robinson. Not cutting Ryan any slack here. And a two count there. It looks like Scoot's getting frustrated. He just can't seem to get Ryan down. And Ryan trying to fight back from his knee. Oof. Into the ropes goes Scoot. Frog splash, oh. it's gotta be enough. That's it, that's gotta be it's over. One, two, and Scoot Robin. Oof. Scoot. How did he kick out of that? Why did he kick out of that? Scoot's throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Ryan, and Ryan's still refusing to go down. Ryan hasn't really stood up for this matchup, but once it finally oh. back to his, or uh, kind of to his feet. Ooh! <laughs> One, two, and. Incredible. I, I'm, I'm as perplexed as you are at this, I, I, This is just incredible. I'm supposed to be a professional commentator, and oh, I we, can't. We've given up on that with you, Alan. Yeah, well, after the, the, this night. But really, I mean, hobbling I know, to the top. I know, he's uh, He's hobbling. It's probably leg. not the smartest thing for him to do, but he wants, he knows he's only got a few. Look at how shaky his legs are. Ooh, ooh, oh. he, the way he land, that's it. He's, he's, he's done. So, do we have the medic that came for the first match? He needs to come back out here. Uh, Scoot, Scoot's pumping himself up. What's he going to do? And Scoot knows how to go to the sky. And that's what he's going to do right now. Looking to finish off. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look how much it took out of him. Flying scoop, more like it. Wow. I'm sorry, Alan. You, know, you see Ryan McQueen, Scoot Robertson on the card against one another. I think you expect a good, hard-fought match between two men who respect right. each other, who've been in the business for a long time. We have a bright futures ahead of them. I don't think you expect this no. level of ferociousness. I mean, these men are they're at a point now where they're trying to take the other one apart just, just to end it. This is incredible. 
Somehow Ryan still fighting back after that frog splash. And look at that combination by Ryan. Into the ropes. Ooh, big drop. Look, but then look at that. Look at that. I think Ryan, uh, that hurt him as much as it did Scoot. With as bad as Ryan's one legs seem to be. One minute remaining. Down to one minute again. This can't go to another draw. This cannot go to another draw, Alan. Uh, I. This is just. I. All right, collect yourself, Alan Sanchez. One of these men need to win this match. But at they, this point, it's anybody's guess who's going to really win. It really is because both men have. I don't think they've delivered as much devastation I've, I've ever seen in SBW and also taken so much devastation. Absolutely. There it is. Gonna try to end it all with a big cutter. No, he's going for that super kick to get it. Oh, he caught him right in the oh. back of the head. Ooh, that's it. It's over. If he can cover it, that's gonna be enough. Can he go for that cover? He taking himself over that. But both men just. That's when your battery life is on one percent on your phone. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Would he had the cover? He would have had the cover. He would have had the cover. Unbelievable. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. We were so close. Unbelievable. Oh, man, I was really hoping we were going to see who won that in the next five minutes. That was all I can afford for that tonight. But I do need to know who's the number one contender for that. SPW Heavyweight Championship. So, next month on April 17th, we will have Ryan McQueen. Yes. And Joshua Robertson for the number one contendership in a no time limit match. Woo! Scoot and McQueen. No time limit. Next month, we will have an answer to this question. Wow. Mark your calendars. A three-hour match between yeah, sir, Ryan after McQueen we, yes, and Scoot Robertson. Unbelievable. Draw yourself off, Alan. I got to drive some. You've I earned it. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> 